Here's how our own Daniela Rivera chose to end the year with cheer. 2020 has been a tough year for all of us, but especially our health heroes. Doctors and nurses have been working tirelessly, risking their own health to fight for ours on the front lines of an unprecedented pandemic. So today, we're in my kitchen, whipping up a little cheer to say thank you. That's so Early on in the pandemic, Alaskans held up signs outside Providence Alaska Medical Center to show their support for the nurses inside, taking care of COVID-19 patients. We're now several months in, and their job hasn't gotten any easier. Healthcare workers in Alaska have stood outside in all types of Alaska weather to administer COVID tests. And as cases climb and our hospitals fill with COVID-19 patients, they're still showing up to work to help us. It's easy to overlook our medical professionals um, unless we are going to the hospital. I enlisted the remote help of my mother who lives in Texas and together we're working on a homemade thank you, a yeah. Finnish sweetbread called Pula, a holiday tradition in our family. Yes, before you were born, I've been making this bread. <laughs> First, hand washing. Then we start with geese, make the dough, let it rise, knead the dough, let it rise again. Then we begin to braid it into a wreath and top it off with a bow. After it rises some more, it's headed for the oven. Beautiful, it's gorgeous. And eventually to staff at Providence Hospital. I hope when they taste the bread, they fill up. This is our small way of spreading a little cheer, and we hope that this bread reminds those doctors and nurses working hard to treat COVID-19 patients that Alaskans appreciate everything they're doing. For Alaska's News Source, I'm Daniela Rivera. I love that mother-daughter project thousands of miles apart. A four-legged friend brought joy to photojournalist Mike Niederbrock, so now he's giving back to help other dogs while they wait to find their forever home. Good boy, yum, 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 good, good boy. Good boy. I'm Mike Niederbrack, and this, this is Bruno. I'm usually behind the camera bringing you the news. And this is my favorite family member. He's around four years old and a fun, furry kid. He's a rescue and he's my first dog. Bruno has changed my life in all those wonderful ways dogs do. So I decided to end the year with cheer by donating some food and cat litter to the animal show. This time of the year, big things for us are dog and cat food, kibble and wet food is a big thing for us, um, as well as any kind of warm weather gear, like coats, sweaters we'll take in. All these dogs and cats are waiting for their forever home. It's still up in the air if Bruno's gonna get a sibling. It's great to save a dog, especially adult dogs. You know, you really know what you're getting as far as personality, energy level, training. You know, you've got a ready-made family member who already knows how to live in a home um, versus getting a puppy from a pet store who you're going to have to train, you're going to have to figure out, and they may still not grow up in the kind of dog that you're looking for. They don't look or smell like us, but they love us unconditionally, and that's a wonderful thing. This is a great time of year to do it, especially with another hunker down coming. You know, you'll have time at home to get your family member set in your home. You have all that time. Winter is a great time to do it. You know, everybody's at home. Everybody's looking for family. Go get it. Something I heard before is money can buy you a fine dog, but only love can make him wag his tail. Our news director here at Alaska's News Source challenged all of us here in the newsroom to work on a project this year to spread some cheer in the community. Courtney and Gina, who run our assignment desk, teamed up with the Salvation Army to provide gifts for a local family. Hi, I'm Gina Romero. We're content managers here at Alaska's News Source. And for our community project, we chose the Adopt-A-Family program with Salvation Army. I selected the program because we're both moms and we really wanted a single mom with young children. From my perspective, my husband works long hours. 
He often works weekends, sometimes birthdays, and even holidays. And so I really wanted to focus on a single mom with young children. My name is Courtney Horostovsky. I'm one of the content managers here at Alaska's News Source. I have three kids and 2020 has been hard, even with my husband here and our families here between school and potty training and diapers. Um, I just can't imagine doing any of 2020 without that family support. So I thought that it would be nice for us to show some of the love to a family who is maybe struggling and to still give them a happy Christmas. Our Adopt-A-Family program is one of the more unique programs that the Salvation Army does with the Christmas assistance in Anchorage. This is a program that is referred to us by community partners, such as Title I schools or other social service agencies, Head Start, the providers that really see the need. We start working with them in October and trying to identify families that are experiencing sudden crisis. This is part of our Christmas tradition. We've been doing it for about 25 years and we roped the family into uh, helping us. Our family's been very blessed over the years and, and we feel it's really important for us to give back to the community. We always do a Christmas stocking and candy for the kids. For me, it's been a really big year of change. We've had to adapt and go to a lot of plan Bs because of, well, it's 2020. We were gonna go shopping together and buy stuff for our family, but we actually can't do that this year because we're trying to maintain physical distancing. And so my plan B was to go online online shopping and curbside pickup to the rescue. I was able to get a lot of really fun stuff for our family uh, through local stores and online shopping. I got the girls some cute shoes. Look at that. The challenge for us was to spread cheer in our community, but honestly, little princess dresses. I have felt so much satisfaction shopping for the girls, shopping for this family, knowing that we're getting stuff for them to play together. The mom was in tears. Very grateful, very excited. She really was unsure how she was gonna be able to give her child such a, a good Christmas. It makes Christmas Christmas for our family. And now we wanna pass our cheer along to you and have you pass it on to someone else, whether it's by adopting a family, baking someone cookies, or just doing a kind deed. On behalf of the assignment desk at Alaska's News Source, happy, happy holidays. holidays. It's a season of gratitude and giving and letting others know that we care. Here's how reporter Jill Burke took on the challenge. Tis the night before Christmas. My deadline is here. We're all on a mission to spread some good cheer. My daughter and I chose handmade cards to send with care, and them? a little divine intervention would help get us there. When children make something creative and artistic, it is worth more than any gift in the whole world. Reverend Matt Schultz, a cartoonist at heart, spending time on Zoom, sharing his mad skills with art. Right now, Christmas time, and when uh, things are weird with the pandemic, people need peace and joy and hope and love. Kids, you have the power to give that to people. You can bring people joy for sure just by doing these art projects and sending people cards. My cherub at times wasn't so sweet. If it's the picture that counts, then you're not gonna last a chance. <laughs> It's not that terrible. But with a little hard work, our success was a treat. I love that. Now look on the inside. Oh, that's so sweet, honey. Cards and art to send to those we love. Notes like, far apart but close at heart, fit hand in glove. We also turned cardboard paint and bits of junk holiday mail into custom ornaments filled with tiny details for friends we miss and hunkered down grandparents, people so dear whom we haven't seen in more than a year. If you'll join us, here's a challenge for you. Make sure to reach out to someone new. People at the Pioneer Home would love to have your artwork up in their rooms on their walls. That would really help them have a nice Christmas this year, too. So from our family to yours, our wish this night is happy holidays to all. Spread joy and kindness, and may you and yours be merry and bright. Wow. Jill Burke, Alaska's News Source. Happy holidays, everyone. The idea is that we can do we can all do something, big or small, to help our fellow Alaskans smile, even during a difficult year. Tonight, Matt Leesman tells us how he did that with a few songs. The residents of these assisted living homes have had to avoid a lot of contact with others during the pandemic. Because the pandemic has been elevated, 
with the numbers that we've decided to um, have the residents again stay at the assisted living home. They had the option to go home for Thanksgiving, but many chose not to. So we decided to bring some holiday spirit to them. Ready? Ready, Johnny. I'm gonna do some singing. All right. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. With the help of my mother, we met the residents outside, kept a safe distance, and led them in some caroling. This is the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Some sang along. Now our gay apparel. Others danced along. But the prettiest sight to see is the holly that will be. And some decided to get a bird's eye view of the performance. And the partridge in a pear. But everyone enjoyed the chance to see others and spread some holiday cheer. We had a lot of fun doing it, getting us into the Christmas spirit. And when we were all done, it even inspired the residents to send a little more cheer out. Later on, we ended up baking cookies and going to other homes and visiting our uh, Cindy and Vic staff at their homes and delivering cookies and singing Christmas carols to them. Matt Leisman, Alaska's News Source.